Okay, um, it's a sad day here in the uh, Page household. Another one of my brothers have passed. Uh, I'm sure most of you heard the uh, passing of the one and only Sir Oliver Humperdinck. Hump was, uh, Hump was a really great guy. Uh, I first met him back when he was actually managing uh, Bam Bam Bigelow. I know Scotty Bam Bam Bigelow since he was 16 years old. We're both from the Jersey Shore and uh, uh, met Hump. And he reminded me of my, my favorite manager of all time, Captain Lou Albano, another brother that's passed. Uh, I love Captain Lou. And uh, the hump actually reminded me of the redhead, red-headed stepchild of, uh, of Captain Lou Albano. But uh, as I would go on to learn, as I got to actually know hump, um, he was his own animal, A to Z. And he had the heart. Boy, he was one of the sweetest men that I have ever known in the business. Uh, it's going to be missed. Um, I'd actually uh, stayed in contact with Hump quite a bit when I first left uh, WCW, and then we lost touch with each other. And uh, found him, I think it was uh, Facebook or something, uh, and uh, we started emailing back and forth again. And just about two months ago, he actually contacted me about helping him with his eating and um, and actually wanted to get, he was just feeling beat up. I mean, Hump started, and he was one of the boys. I mean, he he bumped. You know, he started wrestling, and then he and then he went from there to, uh, to uh, being a manager who would bump around. And uh, I just started working with him, and I uh, sent him all my stuff, and uh, he was very grateful, man. He was just one of the most genuine cats you've ever met and right after that it had to be like two weeks after he'd started doing the program everything I lost touch with him again and then I started to hear the rumors on the internet and um, obviously we all know where that ended up so uh, you know he'll be missed I got a lot of great memories of him though um, you know, after meeting him back when uh, I wasn't even involved in wrestling, it's through Bam Bam, uh, later on, I meet him at Florida Championship Wrestling, and I've got this awesome clip that I found uh, on YouTube that somebody had loaded down, and it's actually got me back in 1988 and Humperdinck, and we were sort of like co-managers. I was also doing color with Gordon Soley at the time, and You'll be able to tell by my rap. Uh, my boy Giorgio edited this clip, so it won't be as bad as it probably was at the time. But Hump comes out, and he brings out this special present for Dusty, and I'll just let you watch the footage. But you're going to see in one clip, I'll, I'll leave out who the one surprise guy is who, who actually uh, is going to come out of the box. But uh, you're going to get to see the Nasty Boys. They look like kids, because they are kids. It was 23 years ago. You'll see uh, Steve uh, Gator Kern. You will see um, a guy with blonde hair and a walrus mustache. Um, yeah, that's Scott Hall. Before he was ever the Diamond Stud, before Razor Ramon, before NWO Scott Hall, he was that guy. And... Um, it's it just brought back so many memories because there's so many legends in there and two of them that are lost you know hump and the great the one and only late great uh gordon soley and to hear his voice oh God, it brings back so many memories so uh let's i'm gonna roll that clip right now well, first part of the show that i want to speak to the dream i got a special thing here for him let's bring it out hump bring it out brother bring out that special little treat here Picked out personally by me and my main man, Sir Oliver Humperdinck. Let me kick this out of the way here for well, your brother. Come on now. Bring it out here. Where's the dream? Where's the dream? I got it right here, baby. Where is he at? We got a special surprise for him, baby. Where is the dream at? We've been asking. Here he comes. Here he comes. The Sexual Wrestling Federation Heavyweight Champion. He is. He is. He's looking good, baby. You look great, baby. You look great, man. Week after week, baby. 
You know, we've had our own differences here and there. Me and the Hulk, we've had our differences and everything. We brought, we brought something specially for you today, baby. The bottom line is, I want to make amends. I want to make amends for everything that's happened with us. I want to get everything down here. You're going to love it, man. This is something specially for you. Yeah. Hey, look at this. That's, how about it, Dusty? We got this girl just for you, Daddy. Look at that, huh? Now, that's the kind of diamond doll Dusty was. Look at that, huh? Look at that. Looks good, baby. Looks good on you. It looks good on you. You ain't got nothing I want. But that ain't you the only ain't thing I brought. Nothing I need, that ain't baby. the only thing I brought. You ain't got nothing. That what you gave me. That ain't the only thing. You better play with some good. It's, it ain't the only thing I brought you, baby. It ain't the, it ain't the only thing. Dusty walked out. Get out of there. That's Terry Funkle came jumping out of that box, and now he's wheeling that chain. Oh, Terry Funkle came jumping out of that box, and now he's wheeling that chain. On uh, the leg of uh, Dusty Rhodes, the American Dream. And we've got a real problem going here. Is we've got them scattering all over the place. We've got them all over the place. Barry Funk charging back into the ring. And uh, now Dustin Rhodes is after him. And how badly Dusty's been hurt, I don't know. I don't have any idea. But Terry Funk suddenly popped out of that box. And so the diabolical... Uh, Movements of uh, Sir Oliver Humperdinck, Diamond Dallas Page, and this man who is sick beyond uh, belief, Terry Funk. And uh, Dusty is in a lot of trouble. A lot of trouble here. The American Dream, Big Scott Hall, Steve Kern, Dustin Rhodes, everybody taking him off. Ladies and gentlemen, now well, this is terrible. They're, they're helping Dusty off, but he's got some real problems with that leg. Uh, I don't know what further to say except that uh, we've got some important interviews upcoming and, uh, well, 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 we'll just be back. Uh. That was back in uh, 1988, uh, maybe, maybe 89. Uh, the next time I'd run into Hump was when I was actually managing the Freebirds. And Dusty wanted me to have Hump be like one of my co-managers and he was going to change his name to uh, Big Daddy Dick. And he was the biker cat then. And there'll be some pictures that I'll that uh, you know follow him up here so you can see uh, some of them. Um, but being on the road with Humperdink and the Freebirds was an experience like none other. I mean, in that car, drinking was a competitive sport. And God, we had so many good times. And there was one night I actually called Michael P.S. Hayes today just to tell him about Hump, but I'm sure he knew. Those guys would rib me so much. It was crazy. But there was one rib that they did to me that I cannot remember exactly how it went down because there was so much beer and shots and Jägermeister involved. But I mean, it was like it went around to circuit of the boys that like Humperdinck had thrown me out of the room and kicked my ass and the whole ball of wax. I really can't remember to make it funny. But it was, you know, in my mind, because I can remember so many times, <laughs> I can remember going down the road, uh, oh, oh, God, no. I, I don't know what happened, like a deer jumped out or whatever, but I grabbed the wheel away from Michael Hayes, oh, my God, I pulled the car out of the way, and then freaking Michael jammed on the brakes, goes, oh, my God, what the hell was that? And Humper, did, he literally was white as a ghost, because it was like, there was a car coming on the other way, in the other direction, it was like... It was total, like, tripped out. Right. Uh, it was, uh, there was a lot of good times with Hump. And, uh, <sighs> he'll be missed. He'll be missed. I, uh, want to close it out with, um, you know, Hump worked a lot in Florida. You know, not just with me when we were in Florida Championship Wrestling. He was there back when Florida Championship Wrestling was smoking hot. The territory was hotter than a firecracker, man. I mean, it was it was burning up. Every night, those boys were making money and partying. And there was a band called the Johnny G. Lions Band that absolutely loved Hump. They loved all the boys, but they really loved Hump. And they wrote a song, The House of Humperdink. And, um, and, uh, it's a great way to close out this uh, close out this little episode here of uh, my tribute to Hump. I miss you, brother. I love you, and I know you're in good hands, Daddy. I know you're in good hands. All right, guys. Uh, say a prayer for Hump. See you.
But what I want to tell everybody about right now is a big new music video that's out on the market, and it's about yours truly. And it's featuring the Johnny G. Lion Band from Tampa, Florida. They put together this tribute to Sir Oliver Hubbard, Inc. So let's get into it now. Yeah. 